We are the Brothers Pack. The Brothers Pack. We are the Brothers Pack. All right, welcome back to the Brothers Pab. Playing some more Crash Bandicoot. Here we go. Here we I go. almost just walked off that, and I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why I had the urge just to walk and not even jump. I think maybe just when you're compelled, you when you're playing this game, you're just compelled to commit suicide occasionally. <laughs> Probably should be a lemming instead of a Bandicoot. Are you going the right way? Am I not? There was a box there that I hadn't broken. Oh well, then you're going the right way. Yeah. Did you know that lemmings don't actually want to throw themselves off a cliff? Like, that, um... I don't remember the exact story, but either they were, like, forced to do that, like they were backed up to the cliff so that the, the guy that was videotaping them could make it look like they were just throwing themselves off, but lemmings don't actually have that tendency. Um... I didn't know that that was a thing that lemmings did. Yeah, there was like there was always the story that they would just throw themselves off a cliff, like they just had suicidal tendencies for some reason, huh. but it's not actually true. Oop. Well, we're off to a good start. <laughs> and good, I have learned something new, and it has been immediately debunked. <laughs> I don't, I don't honestly remember the story behind it. Oh, fuck. Um, but, and I, I honestly may not be remembering the correct reason, but I think that's what it was. That they, like the director, or whoever was videotaping the lemmings wanted to make something interesting about them, so they decided the, in why do I keep doing that? The interesting thing would be that they, like, just would throw themselves off of cliffs, but it's entirely untrue. If you know what I'm talking about, and you know better than I do, then please leave a comment and let me know exactly what the truth is. There we go. Yes, Perfect. we can all learn something. Yeah, leave a comment and let us know exactly what it is I'm trying to say and say it better than I am, please. <laughs> Shouldn't be difficult. Nope, not <laughs> at all. Oh, fuck, what am I doing? I'm so stupid. Don't know. I'm so stupid. You okay. are so stupid. Okay. I can do this this time. Nope, I sure can't do this this time. So, Josh, do you have a favorite ice cream? Uh, that's a good question. Um, right now, I'm really into... Uh, uh, fuck, what do I do from here? Oh, I do that. Okay. Oh, fuck. I have to wait. Wait, what am I supposed to do there? Um, right now, I'm really into... It's like this cherry cordial. It has like bits of cherry and then, um, like some like uh, almost like a cheesecakey type thing, like a crust in it. It's really really good. Yeah. Um, or cherry Jen, cordial or something like that. I don't remember. Anyway, go ahead. Oh, Jen was into uh, something like that recently. I can't like oh, her favorite because oh. it was like. Oh, fuck that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that didn't seem to work out very well. No, no, no. no. Do, 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 do. Do. Up. no. What about you? What's your favorite ice cream? Um, I'm I'm a I'm a simple man when it comes to flavors, so I like a good old cookies and cream. Cookies and cream is good. What about uh, like Ben and Jerry's favorite flavor? Cause they usually oh. have some like different stuff. I don't know. I don't really ever eat Ben and Jerry's. Really? Yeah. I really like their fish food. It's like chocolate and caramel, and then these chunks of chocolate that are in the shape of a fish. Huh. But it's spelled with a PH, like, uh, like the band. Like the band. Yeah, it's probably named for the band. Nice. What am I supposed to do here? Oh, oh damn. What am, what am I doing wrong? What am I, I supposed to do? I think you're doing what you need to be doing. You're just not doing it fast enough. So I need to fall down below and then hit those boxes and then jump across? Yes. Okay. It's like, these are particularly difficult bonus rounds. Oh, well, like, you don't say. <laughs> are they now? Tell me more. Um, green is the color of some crystals, like on this level. <laughs> Jesus fuck. 
Do you want to know anything else? Uh, yeah, just, just keep going. Tell, um, tell me a story. Tell uh, me anything. Uh, one time, there was a hare, and the hare was racing. I mean hare as in rabbit, not hare as in, like, on someone's head. And he was... Uh, going along once and oh my god, and he died. Oh, okay, <laughs> I hate when that happens, it happens to me constantly. Mm -hmm. Break every box without dying to earn a special gem. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> How are you supposed to get through this entire level without dying? That is some horse shit, particularly. Does that mean like bonus round included? I don't think bonus rounds count as death, do they? I mean, you're not losing a life, no. I think it just means to the main level. Oh god. Oh god. Fucking momentum carried me off of that box. <sighs> oh, also, I have a question. And it's kind of, it's like a... It's a generic type question. Okay. But it seems to be one of the more difficult ones for people to answer. But if you had... Oh, yeah. If you had to choose a superpower... What would it be? Man, that's hard. That's really difficult. That, that's pretty much what I just said. Yeah. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Don't take away my commentary from me. You bitch. Daycare. Okay. Well, let me focus on this real quick. Yes. <laughs> to be to be better at crash Bandicoot. Oh Dude. fuck! <laughs> uh yes, yes it would be. Um No, like I don't know. Like flying would always be super fucking cool. Like that's I think that's always been something that's like just part of the human psyche to want to be like a bird and soar. Oh, fuck. Like flying would be really cool. Um, like insta healing, like Wolverine. Oh yeah, yeah. Would like always be really cool. Healing factor. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Being able to stay on that box would be awesome. <laughs> um, I don't know, man. That's really hard. Like, there's a lot of different choices that are out there, and a lot of them have unique applications. Yeah. That would make them fun. Yeah, like, I would have fun with anything. Like, no matter what I got, if I were to just randomly get a superpower somehow, I would have fun with it. But, oh, good job. Oh, <laughs> not good job. <laughs> I'm literally making no progress. Anyway, go ahead. What are your choices? Uh, teleportation. Easily. Yeah, I didn't think about that. That would be a good one. Yeah. That's always been my thing. Like, but teleport, like, but there's like a lot of different types of teleportation, I think, that I could, uh -huh. like, would be useful for different different applications. Mm -hmm. um, like, occasionally I try and think about if teleportation were legitimately real. And existed in our world and under our laws of physics. How would it work? Mm -hmm. And I've decided that. Fuck me, I was at the end. God damn. Um, it might not exactly work the way you would want it to. I think it would be fairly similar to. Um, did you ever see the movie Jumper? Yes. Okay. Shit movie, but. Um, but I really liked the way they did the, the teleportation in it because mm -hmm. I think it's actually pretty realistic. I got him retarded. Yes, go ahead. <laughs> uh, I think it'd be pretty realistic in the sense that, like, in that movie, you could put minimal effort in and just teleport yourself and what you're wearing and your, like, your surrounding, like, your minimal surroundings. Mm -hmm. But if you really concentrated, you could move whole portions of things like at one point he moves an entire apartment and but it like takes a lot out of him by the time they get to where they're going mm -hmm. when they're transported he's like out like it took a ton of energy for him to do it and i think it would be kind of like that and i don't think it would work exactly like the um the night crawler type where all he has to do is like be holding you know, like, if he's holding someone's hand, they're teleported too, and if they're holding someone's hand, everyone is teleported in, like, a string of teleportation. Ah, uh, how do I get over there? I think maybe you have to, like, jump on top of the box of TNT, 
Oh. And then like run and jump off of it. Oh. Oh. That's crazy, man. That is crazy. All right, go ahead. So, yeah, and, and also, <laughs> if that's the case, then how dangerous would it be? Like if someone was around me. I just missed the box. Anyway, go ahead. If someone was around me and that happened, like mm -hmm. if, if I tried to teleport, like say, if I tried to teleport right now, I'm sitting about a foot away from you. Mm -hmm. You are? Oh god, we're so close. Oh. Maybe a foot and a half. <laughs> Anyways, regardless, if I tried to <laughs> teleport <laughs> right now, then maybe would I just teleport myself? And if it was like a Nightcrawler type, would I teleport the couch? also but i'm also touching like you're also touching the couch so would you teleport too or would it be more like a jumper type where i would teleport just a like a small portion of myself and like outside of myself and if that was the case would i teleport like half of your body with me and killing you in the process like please don't <laughs> I, I would like it to not work like that, that me would be too preferable for not to die. So, and also uh, that's another thing. I don't know if I just have a lot of free time in my brain, but mm -hmm. uh, I think about superpowers realistically a lot. Like for flying, for instance, it would be really cool to be able to fly, but honestly, it'd be really difficult to deal with because you'd have to dress for the occasion because it would be really cold no matter that's where true. you went. That's true. The higher you got, the colder it would get. The less oxygen you would have, so you would have to bring some kind of apparatus to bring with to to breathe through, unless you just had an innate ability also to breathe in thin air. Uh, goggles, you know, that kind of thing. You'd have to prepare for going flying. You could just <laughs> what if what if you could fly, but it was only like five feet off the ground and it was very slow link. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I guess that's just levitation, right? Pretty much, God yeah. God damn it. <laughs> Which would still be cool and menacing if you wanted to, like, intimidate somebody, but... I'm just floating towards you. Exactly. Slowly while giving you a very strange look. Okay, okay, I can do this. I don't. I have zero <laughs> faith in myself. That faith was not rewarded. Not at all. Okay, I'm gonna give this one more try, and we'll see if it works. My guess is no, but I'm gonna try. This could be a lucky day. This could be a lucky day. It's that top box. Ugh. Nope. Sure can't. Sure can't do it. Nope. Okay, we'll go ahead and end this episode here and pick it up next time. Thanks so much for the watching, listening thing. Whatever. Do <laughs> do